It's time for the thousand mile review on the Piaggio 150 Liberty 2021 model. I bought this scooter just over a month ago and I got about 1,060 miles on it as of yesterday. And yesterday we went on this huge ride. It was a pretty intense ride, up, down, some twisties, some uh, hard corners going downhill, some hard corners coming uphill. It was a pretty intense ride, all scooters. Um, they should have called it a race, technically. But uh, the Piaggio did excellent. Um, one of the things that really sold me on it was the 16 in front and 14 in rear. It really helps with stability. It gives you some better tire options as well. I just did the first oil change a few days ago. Uh, that was pretty simple. The oil filters on the outside, the oil plugs right next to it. I have a video on that. You can check that out. I upgraded the headlight already because it had a halogen, put off kind of a yellow light. This is an LED. I think it's an H3 daylight walker for about 15 bucks on Amazon. It's a great upgrade. It's a really bright white light and it matches the running lights perfectly. So that was a great upgrade. Some of the things I don't like about it is the drum brake in the rear. Uh, Piaggio really should have went with a disc brake. And here's why. The front brake is hydraulic, so it feels nice and firm all the time. You get the same fill. The rear brake is on a linkage, and it's a manual brake. So the problem in that being drum is that as it starts to wear, it starts to feel mushy. So a thousand miles in, I'm already starting to feel mushy on the brakes. So it's not a big deal. You can adjust it to take up the slack. However, if it was a hydraulic, you would never have that issue. So that was one thing where I wish Piaggio would have really stepped that up and put a disc in the rear. The other thing is the fuel tank seems kind of small and maybe it's because I don't ride scooters in the traditional sense. Like yesterday, I rode 200 miles. And the thing is, it's got like a 1.5 gallon tank on it. So at 60 miles, you're reading empty on the gauge and the gas lights on. I believe it's got about a half a gallon reserve or so. So it seems like you're stopping quite often, in my opinion. You know, the other thing is I live out in the county, so it's 15 miles into town. And so that's 30 miles each way. So that could be why it feels like I'm putting gas in it all the time. But this thing will do 60 with me on it. I'm a bigger dude and I can get a little over 60 on a long flat run. Uh, it does pretty good on grades, pretty steep grades. I can keep it at about 45 if I got a little run at the bottom. So that ain't too bad. Technically you could ride this on the freeway just I wouldn't recommend it, but it could maintain freeway speed for a short period of time. I did get on the Narrows Bridge with it, uh, just went one exit, got on, went over the bridge, got off at the first exit. So that, that was pretty cool, and, it, and I was able to maintain the speed limit when I was doing that. Um, that's one place where you have to get on the freeway, So, but you can get pretty much anywhere without getting on the freeway. But all in all, I'm really happy with the scooter. I think it was the price range was, or the price point, I should say, was pretty decent at $3,100 for the S model. Uh, that's MSRP. Um, the S model has the blacked out wheels, the powder coated wheels. It also has the black accents. It's well worth the extra hundred bucks. Uh, it's got the double stitch in the seat with the red stitch. That's pretty nice too. I really enjoy that but other than the gas tank being a little small in my opinion and the rear drum brake it's actually a really nice scooter and it'll do just about anything you need it to do um, I, I feel it's 60 miles an hour is good enough for what this scooter is if you wanted to go faster than that on it um, 
realistically I mean I know you could soup anything up and go faster but if you wanted to comfortably go faster than that for long distances you would need to do some upgrades to the suspension the shock is okay uh, on a smooth road but if you get into anything real bumpy um, the shock feels like it's all spring and no dampener so it's like a bam 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 so but other than that uh, it's a great scooter great price um, great company they make a lot of great scooters um, I do have that oil change video from the 600 mile change on YouTube so check that out if you're interested and haven't already done that it's a pretty simple process but all in all for the first thousand miles I'm incredibly happy keep following the channel for more epic scooter content we're gonna do some more epic scooter adventures I meant to document the whole ride yesterday but something was up with the battery in my action camera so uh, I only got a little bit of footage and it wasn't all that so I'm not gonna put that up but uh, you could follow us on the web at screamingbees.com uh, we also have a scooter page on Facebook it's a group screaming bees or we also have a Facebook page screaming bees you can check us out on Instagram or you can keep following for more here by subscribing on YouTube to my channel Thanks for watching.